Okay, so yesterday I said this was a brilliant episode, and so I've got a lot to live up to here. I just personally loved it. It was um, from Sean Sean Perry. Uh, I forget his name. I'm sure it's Perry. Anyway, uh, from My First Million. And he says, Idiot Genius Zone. What the fuck is an idiot genius zone? Well, here it is. An idiot is a one on a knowledge. A genius is a level nine or a 10. So an idiot is a one. A genius is a nine or a 10. Follow me so far? Yes, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And that's where you want to be. You want to be in either of those camps. You either want to be an idiot or you want to be a genius. You do not want to be in the middle. If you're in the middle, then you get paralyzed. You can't make decisions because you know enough not to jump in, but you don't know enough to realize that you need to keep it simple. So listen to that again. You know enough not to jump in, but you don't know enough to realize you need to keep it simple. So the people in the middle, they don't take action. They get paralyzed because they know just enough to question things. And an idiot will jump in feet first. I'm often an idiot and a genius will often jump in as well because they know enough about the situation and they're clear on it and they'll jump in. So self-storage, I think I'm in the genius zone. And so I know enough when to jump in and when not to jump in. Um, uh, most of the things, I'm a one. I'm an idiot. And so I just jump in anywhere. And so you don't want to be in the middle. Here's an example. NFTs. If you haven't heard of NFTs, then you really should do. Non-fungible tokens, You th- these are going to take over the world where it's going to, it, it is literally the next Web3. It, it's, it's fantastic. It's, it, I, I, I'm not explaining Web3, um, the Web3 and uh, NFTs, but it literally is going to take over the world. And um, yeah, you want to be an early adopter. You want to, you want to, you want to know something about NFTs now because... If you don't get in now, then obviously it's going to, it's, um, yeah, you're going to be behind the curve. So here's an idiot. So this is NFTs, idiot. Oh, wow. That's a cool looking picture of an ape. I'll buy one. A genius. That ape could be the most iconic picture for the start of Web3. I'm buying one. So an idiot. Oh, wow. That ape looks cool because obviously the board apes have gone massively in value, absolutely increased loads, and they're a fantastic NFT. And so an idiot will just think, ah, that looks pretty cool. I'll buy one. And a genius thinks, do you know what? That's going to be the most iconic picture of Web3. It's going to go up in value. I know it's I know it's going to be uh, always worth something, so I'm going to buy it. And the rest of the people who aren't in one, a level one idiot or level nine or 10, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, they're going to be like, hmm, it could be okay. But what really are NFTs? Will the bubble burst? I'm sure it'll burst. I don't know. Hmm, I'm paralyzed. And you don't ever make a decision. So you never, ever want to be in that situation. You ever want to be an idiot or you want to be a genius. Luckily for me, I'm more often than not an idiot and I'll jump in. Uh, But with self-storage, I'm a genius. So therefore, I jump in as well. So where are you? Where are you on the scale? You don't want to know. You, You don't want to be just intelligent enough to be paralyzed. That's basically it. All right, my friends. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow.